entire time of building out this spot and getting, you know, even down to people like being haters and saying that Thursday to um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, um, you know, until we build up our clientele, I wanted to make sure that you guys had the most amazing experience. Um, thank you, Binge Worthy, Purple Hearts, if we wanna see, um, you know, this beautiful salon. Um, listen, guys, um, this is an amazing uh, feat, and I'm just happy to be here uh, to allow you guys to experience it with me. A lot of you, Team Twirl, you guys have been riding with me uh from the beginning of time from you know from when i first appeared as you know miss usa to to being a real housewife and all of my many endeavors my hair care line shout out to kenny moore hair care and all of the above you guys have been riding with me and i love you for it so i wanted you to just have like this small tour um and hopefully you'll come in and stop by because when i tell you um <laughs> this place it's scary when you don't have a ton of customers or people are just looky loos you know. I've even had bloggers come and make fake appointments and cancel appointments at the last minute. Some of you might even know who those bloggers are. But the, the, the way that people go um, out of their way to try to disparage your name or ruin your business, I, I will never understand it. Like, I will never understand why you know, clickbait or using my name as clickbait. Hey, Latoya forever. Using clickbait um, and these tactics, you know, stalking me, um, you know, violating my privacy, all of those things. And yes, some of those things come with a job and I accept that, but not disparaging my business. You know, not coming out over here and, you know, literally calling, booking up my books and then doing no shows because you wanted to see if you know we were open or you wanted to have a story you know for clickbait online it's not cool um leave me alone <laughs> you know i'm a single mom i'm out here just like anybody else um i am not getting child support i'm not getting anything i'm taking care of my daughter on my own and i know a lot of you understand that i'm an entrepreneur so my endeavors where you know i invest my money is always going to be in myself and so far so good i have won at that game but this salon has damn near you know broken the bank because i just never knew it could you know be this big on this scale um and it's disheartening when you see people go out of their way to try to ruin your business like i've even had people on google and doing google reviews um, saying crazy stuff on Google reviews. So at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm just like you. I am completely a single mom trying to take care of my child. I'm not getting support from my soon to be ex-husband because he's not, we're not divorced yet. Um, so again, you just ride with me, you know, uh, ride with me through this journey because I know a lot of entrepreneurs have the same journey of putting themselves, their money out on the line and not even knowing um, that if it's gonna work out. Someone wrote, request a deposit. At this point, we, we don't, we're not taking deposits, we're taking full payments because of all the, the hate and crazy people. There's some people, are maybe just Uber fans, that just wanna get into the building. You know, that just wanna get into the building um, just to either see me or see the place. So I wanted to share a little bit of that with you. Um, someone goes, the day in the divorce is lasting longer than the marriage. Yeah, that's true. It's been seven years. I got married seven years ago. My anniversary was just a few weeks, a few days ago. So that was, that, this has been a very, you know, very tough week for me. Um, having to answer a lot of questions, you know, from my daughter, having to, to just deal with, um, all of the stresses that, you know, just knowing that, you know, the marriage came to an end and I have this beautiful um, daughter as a result of that. So I can't say anything other than the fact that I am blessed. Um, and I just want people to stop uh, trying to tear down another black woman's business. Like, it's not that serious. You know, I think that I, I don't bother people unless they bother me. I'm over here trying to feed my family of two. Um, I have a lot of responsibilities and I just don't need people just, you know, 
going out of their way to to disparage my you know my good name so um so yes that's that's what i wanted to share with you guys uh i didn't get to a hundred thousand viewers so i'm not sure <laughs> if i should spill the beans on anything else thank you someone writes um we want you to win um i stay winning you know it, it is just it is in my blood everything you know success matriculates around me um so i accept that god has given me that but i also give back as much as i can possibly can so um i give back to so many charities so many girls just in in my daily life you know my ministry what i do to help other young girls that are going through tough and difficult times um i give back so that's that's just a part of who i who i am i don't have to broadcast that um, so again, um, thank you for, for being a part of building this empire with me. You will be seeing me. I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> uh, despite all this stuff, this surrounding, um, whatever this, you know, people decide that they want to write. Um, thank you, Vaughn. Kenya's a winner. What up though? 313. I love you too. Superwoman, single mom. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, Drew Sador News, period. Shout out to Drew. You know what? Drew has been amazing. Drew has been so amazing as a friend. You know, I love getting to know her um, through, you know, this platform that I'm on. And when I tell you, Drew is doing her thing. So continue to support Drew. Continue to support all of my sisters in this game. Um, all of my sisters that are out here trying to do it for themselves. I love you and I ain't going nowhere. So you guys are going to continue to support me, I hope. And um, somebody wrote, uh, let's see, someone wrote, you're awesome. We knew we loved uh, her from the moment. Uh, yeah, it's just someone is writing tell drew i said never die alone okay i don't know what that means but i'll tell her <laughs> period hearts anyway i'm not going to take any more of your time thank you so much someone wrote, wrote uh kenya you are a true hustling woman i definitely hustle